So today's video is a really short one actually, especially compared to some of my other videos. I know I say that a lot. This is gonna be a short video. This will be an easy video. This one will be really quick and then they're not. This one actually is. We are making a, I struggled with what to call this. And I think what I decided on was a catch rope. So we've talked about fall breakers in a cage and that's what this essentially is. It's made with mostly dollar store items or things you can find at the dollar store. And hopefully you'll like it, so stay tuned. So we're gonna start with these ropes from Dollar Tree. I have five of them and I didn't realize till after filming this that I had two different colors of the ropes. One has a lot more black to it and one has more white in it. And so had I realized that, I might have placed them in a different pattern. There's also these little keychains. You'll see what we'll need those for in a moment. And then the last thing is a bunch of zip ties. You will also want some sort of scissors or something to cut zip ties. I'm gonna use red ones because I thought that would look nice with the color of these ropes. So next thing I'm gonna do is take all of the tags off of everything and get them prepped for the project. And I think I just pulled these off and then was like, nope, that's not working. So I went and grabbed some scissors. I didn't want the little plastic ties to fall off and then get like lost in my carpet in my craft room because the rats play in that room. And I don't think they would find them, but you just never know. So I'm just a little careful with stuff like that. So I cut all of the labels off of the ropes one at a time and then set the ropes aside and then moved on to the next rope. Goodness, this took forever. It didn't feel this long when I was actually doing it. But sometimes when I'm doing these voiceovers, I'm like, why was I so slow? All right, next we're removing the labels um, from these little pom-pom keychains so that we can use the little hooks. That's actually the part we need. So then the next thing we're gonna do is actually take the hook off. And I did this just by bending the hook towards the back and holding the other part of the ring in my fingers. And then I set the ring aside and the pom-pom aside. I don't know if I'll ever use these pom-poms or not, but they seem decent, so I saved them and the rings went in with my jewelry. We just need the hook part for this project though. This is the last one. Next, I'm getting out my zip ties. These are also called cable ties. I think that's what they're actually called, but I grew up calling them zip ties, which I think is actually a branded name. And then we're going to spread the loopy parts of these ropes apart and place your zip tie through two of the loops and pull it tight. And you want this pretty tight. The little ropes are kind of stretchy and they want to untwist I don't know why some of them lay flat better than others, but I did um, try to make sure that they were relatively flat for this part. So we're doing that and then scooching it down, repeat with the next one. And now we're moving in double time. Zip tie. And you're basically just gonna do this for the whole rest of it, for as many of these ropes as you happen to have. I did five and that stretched across my entire cage, which you'll see later. You can do a shorter length of them. You could do just two. You could make it longer and leave them more scrunched up. Because of the way the ropes are made, they're very stretchy. So they stretched out a lot in my cage, but it would be okay to scrunch them and have them take up space a little differently. You could also then like do cool things such as like make zigzags with them through the cage, like hang part of it lower and then attach it to the ceiling of the cage and then hang the next part lower. So just do what works for you and what you think will look nice for your cage and your rats will enjoy. All right, next we've got these little hooks and we're gonna attach one to each corner of these and you wanna make sure that the opening of the hook is going outward 
I don't really know a great way to explain that, but you're wanting to make it so that they can attach to the cage, and I found it was easier for them to also be a little loose. So then we're gonna repeat that with all of them. Just make sure all of the openings for the hooks are facing out. You don't want them some facing in and some facing out. That's gonna make it a pain to attach it to your cage later. And definitely make sure not to over tighten the corner hook zip ties. So here I am doing the last two. Here's my final one. You don't have to use these hooks either. You could use other things. If you have lanyard hooks, use that. You could use carabiners, um, key rings, if you have them on hand, would work also. Anything like that would be totally fine, especially if you have it laying around. And then I'm gonna just trim off all the little tails. So this whole video is a little over eight minutes and I sped up most of it twice as fast. So this was a super quick project. It did not take long at all in real speed. And you really don't need anything special to be able to do it. So here you can see me stretching it out and squishing it up, which is great for storage, by the way. And this way you can see the two different colors really well, which is obnoxious. Here it is hung up on the front of my cage, just so you can see how long it is. And then this is it in the cage. Ta-da! I finally figured out how to make the picture zoom to the side and pan across instead of panning and zooming. I knew my editing software had that feature, but I couldn't find it until recently. So here what I'm showing you is that I didn't quite make it long enough and I had to use other things to lengthen where the hooks were. So I either made like a chain of hooks or used a pipe cleaner. What are you doing? Hi Caramel. What you doing baby? You sleepy. There's a sleepy boy just hanging out. A little chilly cause you're a bit fluffered and it tends to be a little cool in this room. Hi! Come here. Can you just see me? Do you like it? You are just so good. How did you know that I needed to see you guys climb on it? How did you know that? I'm getting you a Cheerio. Oh, suddenly a wild ratto appeared. Here's your Cheerio. Now you can climb on it. Show me. He says, no, I just, I need a, a treat and then I'm done. Good boys. I think that's it today. Thanks for watching. Bye.